Howdy folks, thank you for joining me on this week's episode. I don't want you guys to forget about the 100,000 subscriber giveaway. That is happening as long as we can hit the 100,000 mark before this year is over. What the giveaway is going to be and what one of you will win is an all expenses paid trip to the Real McCoy Ranch for an exotic of your choice. Two nights, three days. It's gonna be a really, really awesome experience and a really huge giveaway for reaching that threshold, for reaching that mark. I'm thinking about doing uh, another giveaway at 75,000. I just haven't quite put the mark on what it's gonna be just yet. Really not sure. You guys wanna make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Here in some up and coming videos, I'm gonna go over a couple of the requirements. It's not gonna be anything crazy, uh, but I'm gonna go over a couple of the requirements that will get you entered in to win or get you entered in for the opportunity to win uh, this hunt and it's it's really um, going to be amazing before we go too much further i do want to give you guys the, the verse of the day it comes from philippians 2 verse 7 it says instead he gave up his divine privileges talking about jesus he took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being when he appeared in human form he humbled himself in obedience to god and died a criminal's death on a cross and this verse reminds reminds me of a verse in Romans it comes from chapter 5 verse 8 and it says but God demonstrates his own love for us in this while we were still sinners Christ died for us Christ's death on the cross is the greatest and the best gift that we have ever received and ever been given and I hope that you will dig into the scripture and you will be able to, to see and read more about why that's such uh, an amazing gift, one that we will never, ever, ever be able to repay in any way, form, or fashion. We're completely undeserving, yet he died for us to give us a way to spend eternity in heaven with uh, our Lord and Savior. That's pretty incredible, and I want you guys to dig in the scripture and think about that, pray on that, be thankful for that. It's pretty amazing that we have the Savior that we do. Moving forward, this was a super, super fun weekend with some great people at the Real McCoy Ranch. And if you guys want to hunt here with me as your personal guide and cameraman, all the information will be down in the description below. We had an awesome time with John and his wife and his brother and his wife. We had a total of four this weekend. And even though it's pretty warm and green, we did stinking awesome. An axis buck, a very nice axis buck, and a very nice black buck hit the ground this weekend. But we're going to start off this short little two video series, I guess you can call it, from a weekend at the Roma Coy with a couple of pig hunts from uh, Mr. John himself. We had a very eventful Friday evening, to say the very least. We hopped in uh, the stand first thing about 5, 5.30, and it wasn't... 10 15 minutes into the hunt we already had a pig on the ground i'll let you guys check it out We did a quick little recovery. I just filmed a little bit of the blood trail. I don't remember what broadheads he was using, but they was a huge, like, it looked like probably an inch and three quarter cut fixed head, maybe two inch cut fixed head. That arrow, I don't know if it was because of the wind, because the wind was blowing probably 20 miles an hour. I don't know if it was just the wind or maybe the way that he was uh, kind of at an awkward position in the chair being, um, in a little bit different of a position if that's what caused that arrow to torque just a little bit but that broadhead having such a big cut, cutting diameter uh, really ha gave us some some forgiveness and saved us there that pig the, the the one that you guys just saw it ran about probably 60 70 yards at the most 
it was pretty bang bang instant done and it was really really warm that afternoon that's why we jumped out of the blind and went and did a quick recovery leaving from there we still had about 25 30 minutes of daylight left so we went and got in a different stand up at a tree stand in an oak tree that runs along the creek bottom on the ranch it's got a feeder however the feeder has been empty but we knew that there was lots of animals in the area so we drove down there, uh, sprayed a little bit of corn on the ground, and waited it out. We were actually hoping that a chocolate fallow would make its appearance. We saw him for a split second. He never did uh, roll in and, and show up for us. That's okay. But we did manage to see a uh, younger Neil Guy bull. We watched him for probably 10, 5, 10 minutes at about 15 yards. So that was super, super neat. And then right at last light, we had another group of pigs come in. And John just couldn't help himself, and I don't blame him, because if I would have been in his shoes, I would have done what he did right here. Steady trail you can follow. <laughs> there it is right there. It didn't even run 15 yards. <laughs> that is awesome. You absolutely smoked that hog. Oh, I know it. <laughs> That's awesome. Can I need a ride? Yep. Por favor. We got another dead pig. Oh, hog didn't go 20. Nope. Little dirt nap. Little dirt nap. Uno, dos, tres. Look at that. I'm fluent in Spanish and I can cook. Son. <laughs> Smoke Joe. He made an awesome shot and we had a, like I said, a really awesome Friday. Saturday, the next day, got even better and I'll let you guys take a look and see that video here in a couple of days. However, the whole, the first pig, I don't know if it's just because it was a huge, such a wide cut on that fixed blade, but it's not very often that you get to see some crimson, some red mist coming out the, the other side um, all that often. So whenever it does happen and you catch it on video, it turns out really cool, especially at 120 frames a second. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know y'all love the, the hog hunting videos. There's going to be tons more of that coming and a lot of broadhead testing coming as well, obviously, because you know I love to do that and I know y'all love watching to do that also watching me do that also once again if you guys want to book a hunt to come out and hunt at the ranch for all kinds of exotics or if you want to put together a hunt for some free ranging uh, low fence white tail i can certainly uh, get you guys booked you can message me on instagram you can shoot me an email you can message me on facebook uh, or you can leave a comment down below all of the information will be down there uh, obviously so you guys can get in contact with me and we can get you an exotic or a whitetail or a hog hunt booked i've got lots of exciting stuff coming down the pipe as far as merchandise goes that will be uh, back on my website and live later this week kind of revamp the whole thing and the bait my bait that i used to make for those of you that have watched over the years have seen me use it and i used to have it for sale on my website um, that is making a comeback a new and improved comeback and i'm very uh, stoked about that so i can't wait to show that to you guys as always it's an absolute blast at the real mccoy and i want you guys to be um, a part of that come and be a part of that i know that y'all will have an amazing time lastly be sure that you are subscribed because don't forget we have to pass 100,000 subscribers and then before this year is over so that way um, i can give an all expenses paid exotic hunt away at the real mccoy ranch and it's it's going to be super special. It's going to be my biggest giveaway. I hope that we make it. I want to give back to you guys very much. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in just a few days. Yeah.